welcome everyone to a brand new video thank you so much for choosing my channel for to inform yourself today we're doing a review on NATO US and and um, let's say well the rest of the world today's video it's called the commandments to continue being the master and to eternally stay the lord and master of the planet let's begin each nation must know its place they must be afraid to rebel force will be used when necessary destroy a country from time to try from time to time to remind others what can happen if they if they get out of line it is it is required to interfere with policies of other countries manipulate the elections of other nations only candidates who vow to our policies can win elections execute operations of re of regime changes and organize color revolution choices this is, these operations must be continued when this behavior stops countries will begin to ignore us and begin to think they can act their own will well my friends i want to take this small break and welcome all to your channel my world and dino i want to ask you to subscribe share leave your opinion leave a like what i want to tell you here is that the information that i'm giving you here is prejudice free it's up to you to analyze and then make your own conclusions let's continue my friends so the commandments go on to say we do not want the rest of the nations to start thinking the same thing and go their own separate ways while ignoring the commandments hmm? at this time the united states are still the most significant power in the world with control of the planet or are we in another moment in history in recent years we continuously fear how that how the situation is turning dire relationships between the u.s and nato countries and russia go from bad to worse there is a trade war with China. North Korea remains an indecipherable problem, with bringing, with, um, which brings shame to nations and organizations that would like to control the, the country. I continuously hear how we are close to a world war. We can often be close to making a decision, but the final step doesn't come a world war decision it's a suicide for a great nation like the united states even for any individual like myself or you um to make matters worse the united the, for the united states president putin recently unveiled the new russian weapon system against which the united states is defenseless and will continue to be in the predictable future the plan was to surround russia with military bases and missiles batteries followed by a preventive strike destroying their ability to retaliate and forcing them to agree to a pact or surrender this plan is now known to have con conclusively failed it is assumed that an attack by the US and NATO against Russia is an act of suicide. Even limited military confrontations are now unsinkable. Russia can now inflict unacceptable damage to NATO forces at a safe distance without endangering any of its assets. If Russia is not interested in attacking any country and the United States and NATO know they would be damaged how likely is a world war a world war russia's new arms 
have made it impossible to start ignoring, have made it possible to, to begin ignoring the United States. It is still essential to maintain a credible military posture. Politically, it is losing control as the global institutions that Americans once power was based on are now no longer there. What we are seeing is the resurgence, yes, the resurgence of national states, even empires. Russia, Turkey, Iran are deciding the political future of Syria without any useful contribution from the U.S. significantly, while Russia and Iran are in a class of their own. Concerning the U.S., Turkey has been a U.S. ally and NATO's second largest force. Turkey is not longer eager to please the U.S. It's quite telling, except during the strange and tumultuous 20th century when the U.S. made a brief appearance in the world stage. These three countries received different names that ended in an empire the Russian Empire, the Ottoman Empire, the Persian Empire. Of these three, the Russian and the Ottoman Empires are heirs of Holy Roman German, uh, Germanic Empire, whose eastern half with the capital of Constantinople, Constantinople continued for centuries after the Roman became uh, Dispoil, ruin, and a dark age descended on Europe after Constantinople fell into the hands of the Turks and the Islam took over the region. The Orthodox Christianity Center migrated to Moscow North region. Now, at China or the Chinese Empire, if you prefer. It is now allied with Russia. The four largest oldest Euro Eurasian empires are talking and cooperating, while the stranger on the other side of the solar system is not talking, is not taken into account. The, Uni the United States has three options. The first, as I said, I have as I have said in several of my other videos is um, to start a great war by committing national suicide and dragging other countries down. Experts speak of the great political division within the U.S. government. The governments lack the political will to make a decision whether they're going to go into war or do something else. But although they're uh, they're not coming together to make to make one decision. There's always the risk of falling into a great war by accident. The other option would be to withdraw, to stop trying to project power around the world, retreating to its borders and licking its wounds. Also, lacks political will to do that. All left in the rail of possibility is to, uh, to pretend everything is going well for as long as possible. It is possible to say that everything is fine while everything crumbles. The answer will be to start the, the answer will be to start the U.S. convincing enough people at home and around and worldwide that the U.S. is still dangerous. If the U.S. military armed forces hide his growing weakness for um, for a while longer, the U.S. military no longer be able to accomplish, may not be able to accomplish any of his goals. But as they have demonstrated um, by the U.S. coalition's bombing of uh, Mosul, Iraq, they can still commit mass death. Similar acts have been committed by representatives of Saudi Arabia in Yemen 
and by its Ukrainian representatives in Donbas, although the opportunities to commit senseless mass murders with impunity are now increasingly scarce, forcing the U.S. to resort to more acts of senseless violence. Each of Europe, yeah, I'm sorry, much of Europe is separated from the rest of the world by an elaborated wall of outer nonsense. It has a lot to do with chemical weapons. Hmm? It's a fear as as the fear principle. For example, take a look at the recent Israeli rocket attack on Syria. It was justified using obviously false video images produced by the White Helmets, a group known for organ organizing false terrorist events. In their latest videos, they don't care that the video look fake. In their last video, it was apparent they were uh, uh, on a movie set. There were actors, some with white helmets, without any protective equipment, who drew buckets or threw buckets of water on children, trembling. How does that make sense? Hmm? Now, the five rockets that were shot down by Russian, launched by Israel. The Russians had warned that, uh, the Russians had warned the United States, they were going to, uh, they were aware of the provocation with fake chemical weapons planned on the, on the pretext of launching a rocket attack. Russia said they were going to shoot not only the rockets, but also those who instigated the attack. U.S. government decided that it would be too risky to launch from Navy ships. Instead, they asked the Israelis to do the honors, to attack some remote base in, in Syria, rightly thinking that Russians would not immediately retaliate as not Russian uh, was going to be injured in, in the airbase attack. My friends, we're coming to an end here. And I just want to say that we, we are experiencing a strange period of history that we are going through. This is very strange. Um, the U.S. lies non-stop. The truth is not on their side. Um, well, we still don't know how long this strange period will last, but um, it's probably not going to last that long, probably three, four years. But... But um, but I, I'm thinking that the U.S. will disappear as a uh, world power. And who is going to make sure of that? Are the free nations, the nations that don't bow to their policies and politics. So my friends, uh, this has been a, um, a short review of... of um, the relations of Russia, Eurasia, um, NATO, and the U.S. I hope you like this information. Leave me, uh, leave me comments. Leave me your opinion. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Um, well, and this is my last video before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone, or Happy Holidays, if you can. Okay? So, ciao, ciao for now, my friends.